This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Munford Elementary School. Hey, we welcome Kelsey Grace Gilmore this morning from Munford Elementary. Kelsey, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for being here today. 11 years old. Tell us all about Kelsey. Well, I have a many, like I have a lot of hobbies. I enjoy playing the violin. I enjoy singing, um, shooting bows, um, and writing. Well, talk about your time at Munford Elementary. Well, okay. I have been in Munford Elementary since kindergarten. And truthfully, I have loved the school ever since then because their environment is just so amazing. And every single thing that they do for each of the kids, it's it's very encouraging to yourself. Like all the teachers, they are very nice and they want the students to do good and succeed in life. Now, uh, you're 11 years old and turned 11 late last year and uh, you've been on the AB honor roll each year and this year you're making all A's way to go Thank and you. Uh, I know that's exciting for you and uh, how, how challenging is it to keep those grades up? Well I find it well mostly in math that's kind of my struggle um, I'm pretty decent at reading, so that kind of comes naturally mm -hmm. to me. But I do have to study pretty hard at math and science to get to where I am, because science is also another thing I struggle in. Now, uh, you love karaoke. How'd you get started in that? Well, um, at a really young age, I started <coughs> singing, and my dad is a very musical person, so he started teaching me how to sing, and I also got in some other singing groups and everything. Well, um... A couple years ago, there was a Mexican restaurant at a mall called um, <clears throat> Oxford, and that's where I got that's where I sang karaoke for like the first time, which was there. And my dad got me up there on stage to be able to sing. Were you um, nervous? Yes, very. <laughs> uh, Kelsey Grace Gilmore, eleven year old <laughs> student in the fifth grade at Munford Elementary School, and. Uh, uh, you have been uh, in the uh, Munford Elementary School Choir and the Performing Arts Club for two years, and I know you love that. <laughs> what do y'all do there? Well, in choir, um, like I think it's coming up pretty soon. We go and we sing with like a bunch of other choirs from around mm -hmm. our area, and in the Performing Arts Club, just recently in December, I was in a play where I had the leading role of the Queen Bee in A Bug's Christmas. Hey, fantastic. Uh, the Cats Cast Kids Community Theater and the, uh, uh, the Traveling Theater. What, what are these? Well, Missoula is, a, is the Traveling Theater. comes to Talladega like once every year, and they um, offer a one-week thing for kids to be able to do performances and plays. And Cast Kids is really awesome because it's a group full of kids of different ages where they can all work together to create mm -hmm. one big thing. So, like, we do performances on um, in Aniston and performances for um, local theaters and everything. Like, we sing and we plays and all that stuff. Wow. Kelsey Grace Gilmore, our star student of the month. How did you get started playing the violin? Well... Um, it started off with me finding Lindsay Sterling, who is my personal idol because she's just the most amazing person ever. Um, I learned about her through YouTube. Now, but so, so that, you know, old folks like me, who is this person? Lindsay Sterling is a dubstep violinist. She created this new way of playing the violin to where you can dance and play the violin at the same mm -hmm. time, which is um, pretty cool. And... Um, she is just a big inspiration because she's been through a lot of problems and she was once on America's Got Talent and she was told that she never needs to step on stage again, but she continued working for it and she became really um, an inspiration to a bunch of people. So do you dance and play the violin too? Well, or, I'm not. <laughs> or working on it? I'm working on it, okay. yes. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Uh, the archery team this year and you're also on the announcing team. I guess that's where you get your voice, you know. Uh, uh, but the archer team's probably a pretty good deal too, huh? We actually had a tournament yesterday um, in Pell City a High School in their gym. We had a tournament yesterday, and I did pretty well. I got a pretty high score. So do you like to hunt, or, or is no, this just... No, I just, um, as a kid, I was really, like a little tiny, like three-year-old, I was obsessed with... Indians, mm -hmm. and I've always loved the idea of shooting bows. Yeah. Well, 
Um, do you have a bow? Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah. Um, and we, in school, they have a thing called um, NAS, which is National National Archery in the schools program. And I heard about it, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can finally pursue the idea of being able to shoot bows. Wow. Uh, your parents are here with you this morning. Talk about your family a little bit. Well, my dad is a mechanic at IAC, and my mom is a office assistant at Hanger Clinic. And both of them are very musically inclined. My mom used to play the piano, and my dad would play. Um, he plays the guitar, and he sings sometimes as well. They're just they're very nice people, and they let me do a lot of things. You know what? I, I, I know this is uh, off, off the page, but if I could, I would just get us to do a a cappella version of something this morning. But we'll, we'll do that another okay. time, okay? Uh, now... You like to read, I know that. Uh, what about your reading? Well, in school we have a thing called AR and star testing, and it helps you learn how, like, what your grade level is and um, what kind of books you can read, like, because there's smaller books and there's bigger books. Well, my reading level is 12.9, and they grade that upon like 12th grade level and nine months. Mm -hmm. So that's it's very high for my grade. You, yeah. And um, I've read a bunch of books. I've read um, all the Divergent series, all the Hunger Games series, and all the Max Moran books. Now, when you <clears throat> begin a reading project, do you go through it, or do you just read a little bit and stop, or what? Well, I usually just read like a little bit and stop, because mm -hmm. usually your brain will get tired of it. You don't want the book to just be like wore out or anything. Yeah. You want to be able to keep it in your brain and be able to keep wanting to read it. I go by the thickness of books for real thick. I just lay them down and if they're thin, I'll read them. <laughs> uh, Kelsey Grace Gilmore, 11 year old star student of the month. She's in the fifth grade at Munford Elementary School. Uh, we're hearing more and more about the STEAM team. What's this about? Well, okay, that's a, it's STEM team, but it STEM means team. STEM okay, team. Okay. So it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Okay. Um, I was in it last year, the very first one of Munford Elementary. And they have they work with your brain for you to be able to um, create things that like are super hard to do. So like last year I was on the egg drop team, so it was having to create um, a contraption to keep the eggs safe inside of it. Like so like you drop the you drop it from like a really high distance uh -huh. and try to make it stay together. So um, and they give you like qualifications. So you can't just do like some random stuff that you find. They have to give you some. Um, materials you have, that you have to use. Are you on a time limit or something? Yes, you are on a time limit. I think last year it was like 10 minutes or something That's of that of sort. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I can't actually remember the time, but we do have a yeah. time limit, yes. Yeah. Uh, you're involved in the gifted program at the school. Talk about it. I know that's special to you. Our gifted program at Mumford is very unique because our teacher is just absolutely amazing. Ms. Brewer comes up with so many things that just help our brains. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we have been on many gifted field trips that like one year we went to Legoland. This year um, we went to Stone Mountain and we've been to a bunch of different places that we probably we never would have gotten to go to. And it helps. She's helping um, us do many things with our brains that just kind of are just exciting. Am I too old for that, you think? I need to <laughs> stimulate my anyway. Kelsey Grace Gilmore, uh, our star student of the month. What do you want to do as you get older? Well, I have two ambitions. I either want to be an architect or I want to be a violinist like Lindsay Sterling. Um, architecture is a thing that I've developed. You're into like. this violinist. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, I, I bet you do well with that. Do you, do you listen to a lot of the, uh, type, that type music, do you? I yeah. love violin music. Okay. It's wow. beautiful. All right. Now, uh, you're a fifth grader at uh, Munford Middle School, Munford Elementary School, and uh, you, uh, of course, uh, uh, have been there, I, I guess, since you started school? Okay. You love the Munford area? Yes. The Yes, very. Yeah. Um, All yeah. right. <laughs> We're glad to have you with us this morning. Kelsey Grace Gilmore, who is a fifth grader, at uh, Munford Elementary School, 11 years old. She is our star student of the month. And watch this young lady. She may become a well, world-renowned uh, 
on the violin and dance a violin too. <laughs> okay. Hey, thank you for coming today. You're welcome. All right. We got more daybreak just ahead. Don't go away. This Star Student of the Month was brought to you by TV 47. Tune in to Daybreak Weekdays at 6.30 a.m. for your Star Student of the Month.